you know, tonight there were none of those sort of head scratching bloopers that you've seen pop up with your team. Why, why do you figure tonight there were none or few? Yeah, there was a, there's few. Yeah. I don't know, Doug. I think again, it was, um, we just came out ready to go, right? You could again, see it right from the defensive stand at the start, really good execution offensively. Um, and just kind of played pretty solidly throughout, right? There was really no dips and dips in effort or energy or any of that kind of stuff. So just a solid workman like performance tonight, I think. We've spoken often about Utah and, and his work ethic and energy. Do you sense even a more level of comfort on the floor now? He seems to know where he's going to get his shots and where he can take his shots and that kind of thing. Yeah, again, Doug, I think it's, um, you know, in those roles, it's play hard and, you know, limit mistakes. And, and you know, he just doesn't make many mistakes and he, he just keeps hustling even even – Hustled so hard to get in front and block one of Vuce. Vuce looked like Vucevic had a layup at the rim and Yuta came flying in there and blocked it. And that's just effort. That's not anything but that. And, um, you know, yeah, he's he's a uh, bit of an unknown yet. So he still finds himself all alone out there in the corner some, you know. And, and again, he's got a nice shooting stroke. But he's he's growing a little bit, playing solid. But he's been, he's been really solid for the most part all year. So it's nice to see that position. He does seem to have to have a very calm demeanor. And how much do you think that helps him? Yeah, I mean, he plays a bit frantic, right? Because he's just playing so hard all the time. I mean, not not frantic. I mean, he's pretty comfortable with the ball and stuff. But he's just constantly in motion, which is really good. Really helps our offense that he just cuts and moves and he runs out to the other side and there's nothing. And he cuts back to the other side and he's moving people around kind of by himself. But I. But you're right. I, I mean, I think his IQ is pretty high, Doug, which is why he has that demeanor. You know, he knows where the next play is going to be. He gets it to the next action, right? Doesn't get himself in too much trouble, right? So he's, he's you know, just, again, playing pretty pretty solid. Thanks very much, Nick, as always. Safe trip up to Orlando. Hey, thanks. I was trying to think where we're going next. I mean, we just, we're going everywhere just, pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. We're going everywhere. Next question goes to Eric Kareen from The Athletic. And uh, great work there on the call. Um, you touched on it a bit uh, in the last answer, but as a coach, when you're looking for those, you know, seven, eight, nine roles, how difficult, especially when you're dealing with sort of, you know, wing players, let's call them, how difficult is it to compare Utah, who's sort of not making mistakes, but isn't going to give you that sort of shot creation necessarily, versus Terrence, who is kind of the opposite versus Stadley and Bembry who like, like, is there, what is, is there one or two things that above all else you're looking for from that, those spots, I guess? No, I mean, I guess, you know, you kind of touched on it is we got to get to know who they are with this particular team. Right. And, and you, you know, you know what Terrence is. I mean, Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm still hoping. I thought Terrence was better again tonight, but he's still got to get more settled in. You know, he just he's he's you know he's got to eliminate some of the silly fouls and getting him in those self in those situations, and his play would improve immensely. I mean, Stanley is pretty much uh, a defender, right? And and we're certain nights or situations where we're going to want to use his strength and in ball pressure and those kind of things. Um, DeAndre's been a nice surprise here lately. I, I, it's kind of what he showed in the preseason that he's just kind of, again, a utility guy. Um, can handle a bit, can can back cut you a bit, can can guard a couple positions, you know, again. So it's just just probably night to night what we need and, and who's playing well. But they're starting to develop a role of who they are and what we can expect from them to just stay within themselves. You know, so we know what they're going to be like each night. I guess what I'm trying to ask a little bit uh, beyond that is, is it hard from night to night to go, okay, I'm going to rely on offensive ceiling tonight. And, and then tonight I really need defensive stability. Well, like, I mean, you can do that if you want to, Eric. You could kind of sit here and think, hey, this would be a good night for this guy and that guy. But 
those things always go out the window about four minutes into the game, and you got to start figuring out what you need, you know, depending on how the game starts rolling. And, you know, it's, it's um, again, it's been, for, for me, it's easier. I, I mean, certainly don't want to play without Norman OG, but I don't really have a choice over there now who to put in, right? So those guys go in, and they're, they're going to get their rotation. Um, and then it's kind of see how they do and let it roll from there. Appreciate it, Nick. Thank you. You're welcome, Eric. Next question goes to Josh Lewinberg from TSN. Hi, Nick. Um, all of Pascal's points over the last couple of games have come in the paint or at the line. He's only attempted uh, three threes over the last two games. I'm sure at some point you'd like to see those attempts go up, and obviously he's going to have to start knocking down the threes. But do you like the idea of him sort of focusing in on the other parts of his game, attacking, getting to the rim, getting to the line, getting the confidence back up before – the threes start to become a part of his game again or a bigger part of his game again? Yeah, I mean, I think they'll probably work their way back in, Josh, but I, it's a, you know, it's a conscious effort on his part and our part to get him going to the basket and get him a little bit more composed at the basket too. You know, I think you can see him that, that the, the times he gets in there, takes his time, gets to two feet, gets to that right-hand jump hook or something, those, those are going in. It's the twisting, turning you know, fall away jumper. Sometimes you're thinking that's a tough shot and that's going to have, you know, and a lot of those don't go in, but I thought he did a great job of reading the gaps when they were there and playing quicker. When he saw an opening, he took it. And then even a couple of times I thought he got off it super early, you know, fired it. You know, he saw the help was there, right? You know, he moved quick and he saw the help there quick and he didn't try to force it through the help. He just got off it, you know, and I think that's even more key, but I, no, I'm okay right now. We got, we got plenty of guys bombing threes up there right now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm good with him trying to work himself through the paint and getting to the line a little bit more, too. It's another, you know, something like 20 free throws in the last two nights. You know, that's what we're looking for, getting him, getting him up there, seven, eight, nine free throws a night. Great. Thanks, Dick. All right. We're going to go do the uh, lightning round here. If everybody can keep your questions to just one, we'll try and get through as many before our players are ready. First one goes to Eric Wilson from WKILL 1070 AM. Coach, good evening. Appreciate the time. So my question is, uh, tonight you held this team, the Orlando Magic, 40.2%, I believe it was, when it came to their three-point shooting. Um, defensively, what was working for you tonight? Well, we, we've got a pretty um, simple game plan that we use against these guys, and it's just a matter of there's, there's four or five things we – we, we try to execute, and that's what we've stressed going into the game is we got to get these things done. It's not, it's not a long list of things. It's not complicated, but they got to get done, and we did them. You know, we really did them. We, we did our work on Vucevic. We did our work on Ross. We did our work on Fournier, and, and um, the other key to the game tonight was to keep them off the glass. And, you know, they, they missed a lot of shots, and they only got six offensive rebounds, and it's a good offensive rebounding team. So. Those, those were the critical things tonight defensively. All right, next question goes to Aaron Rose from SI.com. Hey, Nick. Uh, looks like you guys uh, didn't miss Gasol tonight. What do you think of uh, how Baines did against uh, Vucevic? Well, he did good. You know, I think that was um, good to see. I think, you know, talked about all the things you have to cover, and I think, Couple things. We we did a good job of of um, executing some things we haven't had to execute much this year. Where where uh, you know they pop him and we were breaking off some guys other than the big to try to run all the way back to him. So we were breaking off some guards to get back. So those guys executed that good, which helped a lot on that. And um, I thought we did a good job of making most of his shots really tough. Right. And, and, you know, it starts with with Aaron and even Chris, I thought, fought him good for the few few moments he had in there. But good, good team defense, really. Thanks, good to see. All right. Next question goes to Lewis Zatzman from Raptors Just Republic. Slowest lightning round I've ever been a part of, by the way, Roland. <laughs> quick one for you, Nick. So, uh. So Fred seemed to get popped pretty early there, the second quarter, I think, and just didn't seem like himself after. Did you get a chance to ask him if he was all right? I did. I did. He said he was okay, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I think it shook him up a little bit. But 
I did ask him coming out of the game, and he, he said, yeah, he was all right. But we'll see. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Final question goes to Alex Fleming from the Florida Sun. A good win tonight, Coach. Um, you already mentioned you didn't have uh, Norman or OG, but you did let Bembry and uh, Utah Watanabe uh, carry some minutes. Even though he was a minus seven, he had 11 points, three for three from the three-point line. Is there a chance he's going to get more minutes in the rotation? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. I think I think around 20 is going to be going to be pretty good. That's up there a little bit, you know. But, yeah, if he keeps playing well, I think both those guys have been solid. I think you would have got that minus seven in the last two minutes of the game because I'm looking at minus eight for everybody else. I think he was a part of that group, so he probably would have been a positive in, uh, in the game. But he was really good. I thought Bembry was really good, too. Just making little plays, man. The knockdown shot here. The back cut there, a couple, couple transition buckets, um, and, and good effort at the defensive end for both those guys.